Welcome back. In this video, um, we are going to generate the configuration file. Uh, so we will generate the config file for WordPress and set up the database credentials for our uh, installation. Um, so the basic syntax for this um, command is the following. That is the basic syntax, so wp config create, and then we need to specify the database name and the database user and the database password. But the database password syntax can be that one or can be um, passed using the prompt um, that I'll show you in a minute how it works. So Let's run this command and generate our configuration file. So wp config create db name is going to be equal um, uh, name uh, wp demo. WP YouTube, I'm going to call it like that, and then database user, DB user is going to be my database user. It can be a root if you are if you want to use a root, or otherwise if you have configured your user uh, with credentials and you granted all the privileges in the database tables uh, and databases uh, that you create um, you can use your user and i'm going to use mine then for the password i'm going to pass the prompt and then if i'm not wrong i need to pass the ddb the db pass Okay, like that. This should, there's an error. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so we need to cd into the folder that we downloaded in the previous video. So wp demo test, and then we run the command now. And I misspelled prompt. From that should be okay. Okay, that's what you see when the prompt uh, you use the prompt uh, flag. So this one, you will be asked to buy to type the password for the database user. I'm going to type mine. That's a fake password that I'm using for the video, and that's it. The configuration file is now here and as you see and it's it has been filled of all the details that we passed and it, the uh, unix salt keys are here already populated and that's it so um, the command that we just used, so this one, this one. So this command does uh, generate the wp-config.php file and adds to it the database credentials that you pass uh, to the command. And make sure, of course, to replace the DB name with your username uh, with your database name and it be user with your user uh, for the MySQL database uh, and of course pass your um, user database user password uh, in here so you can um, then install the create the database using another comment that I will show you in the next video see you there